Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are doing great today. Um, this is the third video. You will see me looking like this. I just wanted to film these three quick short videos um, and just, you know, do some quick makeup. I'm trying out a new eyeshadow today and I'm actually really excited um, about it. And honestly, so good so far. So good. Okay. Well, so far so good. Let's do that. So far so good. All right. Um, how are you guys doing today? Let me know down below in the comments. What are you up to the day that you're watching this? If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that bell on notification so you can get notifications on when I upload. And with that, let's get started. Okay. So today's video is going to be the third of this of this that I do, and it's my top red lips that I have in my collection. And I have one more video coming after this, and that will be my top burgundy lips. And I will be done with my lip series for the time being. I don't know why I was scooting to the side. I think it was just more comfortable. Um, so yeah, with that, let's get started. Well, the first one up, since I already showed this, we'll go with e.l.f. And this is from e.l.f. And it's in the same crayon formula that I absolutely love in Praline. And then this, this shade is the Cranberry shade. And again, as the same thing as with the e.l.f., you can have a wash of this color or you can build it up. And it's a matte formula, but it's a little, it's like a satin matte, if there's such a thing. So it's not necessarily like a super matte, but it's a very comfortable on the lips. And the reason that I like this is very, just reminds me of a very holiday red. And you can see it has a little bit of shine to it. Let me go... Let me see if I can do like that and hold on. Okay, so the second swatch that you see on there is just my hand. Or I swatched it and then I kind of blended it out a little bit with my finger. And sometimes I do that with this particular one because it's one of those that looks really great when you do that. So just like the praline one, it's just that great formula where you can do slightly almost blotted lip or you can build it up to that intensity and it doesn't I find I've worn this of course I've worn this right otherwise why would I be recommending that but the last time I remember wearing this um was a couple months ago because to me this is more like a holiday a literally holiday cranberry shade and I just really really enjoy it I mean you can still wear it during the summer and look at that you could wear it like that during the summer I think that would be very pretty almost like you've eaten some berries and you just got some color on your lips and that would look really pretty too um I forgot what I was going to say but if you really want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere uh you can just use a lip liner and then build it up to that intensity but as you can see it's not a super matte color it still has a little bit of shot not shine but like a little bit of um sheen to it there it is sheen all right the next color i'm going to do is from nyx and this is in the shade alabama and it's in their matte lipstick formula like i said i've said before when it comes to darker shades i do like a bit more i like my shades to my dark shades to be matte and then this one is definitely more of a matte. And it's almost like a burnt red right there. All right, let me see. Close up a little bit more. Honestly, I think I repurchased this three times already. I just, I enjoy the formula. I especially enjoy that particular color. So if you're looking for something a little bit more vampy, a little bit more deep, this is your shade. And it's $7, I believe. And the next one that I have, this one was a surprise find. I've mentioned this in a tutorial that I did for Valentine's Day, which is why I needed to go buy a, a red lip. And when I went into store, because I needed it right away, the ones that I really like from NYX are not in the store, even though Ulta still carries them. But I, this is what I could find at the moment. And I was like, oh, I hope it's good. I did swatch it because, again, this was back in February before the Rona started. And... I was so pleasantly surprised by this formula and this shade. Even the like the packaging, it's so beautiful. I love this like animal print on there. And if you look at the bullet lipstick, it's actually matte. And I think that's one of the, like the coolest features that I've seen that it's actually matte. 
and I do recommend putting a lip liner with any dark lipstick so one it doesn't bleed and you know that it's not gonna slip and slide but look at that that is so so pretty and this one's actually like a true blood blood blue red with like a tinge of it's like a blue red side not so much the orange but it's definitely more of that deeper red as you can see right there I do enjoy that color quite a bit that's definitely one of my go-to red colors um obviously right otherwise we wouldn't be in a video Duh. so another thing about this lipstick is that it's a comfortable matte you could say um two are from or the last two since there's only five are going to be from dose of colors and we're going to swatch extra saucy because they claim that this is a deep red and next to that one that one's a little bit more of a deeper red in my opinion and i just wore this one in one of my last videos oh my collab video i'll have it linked up here in the cards um i wore this one in that video and i just oh it just makes you feel fiery and spicy so it is a little bit more of a deeper toned than that one it's it's a different almost tone like even this one's a little bit more on that blue red it makes it's making this one look a little orange i don't know if you can that can translate into in the camera or through the camera and once it dries down you can you'll it, it doesn't change so much but it don't, almost gets a little deeper and the other one that i really like and that was a shade extra saucy if i didn't say is merlot and this one is a true red and you can see that blue undertone almost on the true red one Okay, I'm going to let these dry for a little bit, and then I'll show you a little closer swatches. So, now that it's dried down a little bit, I can show you what they look like. They're all, even if it's just a slight, they're all different shades of red right here. Like these last three, you can tell they're all different shades of red. That's definitely deeper, that's definitely more of a true red. And that's definitely more of a, that's, that's a red, but I guess because it is a full lipstick, it looks a little bit different compared to the liquid lipsticks. And of course, they're all different tones, but they're all in the same red family. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, very short, very quick, but I just wanted to show you my top five of each color, along with the declutter that goes along with the video, or with this video for the lip series um i hope you guys are enjoying this series it's coming to an end pretty soon um let me know if you did enjoy it and maybe sometime in the future when i collect more lipsticks down the line i will do this again but for now i hope you guys let me know or what are your picks for any of these colors like pinks or reds let me know down in the comments so i can add a little bit more to my collection slowly all right I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.